Hello, hello everyone. We are here in my craft studio. I'm in my Christmas pajamas today and I'm working on my December planner setup. So I thought I would bring you along. I've began already, but I haven't done too much. So um, this year, um, I'm not using Planners Anonymous because they did not release a Christmas um, special release this year. So I'm so sad because I love my Planners Anonymous, especially during the holidays. Um, but they needed a little bit of grace um, with their schedule and so they decided not to do a holiday release. So I went ahead and I opted for Coco Daisy, um, Felicity Jane, and... Um, uh what is it called what is it called felicity jane coco daisy and why can't i think of it uh studio calico <laughs> okay studio calico um as you can see i'm not uh i don't use these brands very often so i don't know them just at the tip of my tongue so anyway coco daisy studio calico felicity jane that's what i'm using um, for my december holiday setup so um because i don't have a special release planners anonymous melody that i normally do um i'm having to make my own so i went through these beautiful coco daisy holiday um, papers that were sent with for their december kit and this is called frost and Folic, i believe um it's absolutely stunning but with these size papers um this one and then this one is folded um, i wasn't able to do the binder that i wanted to do um, I had originally planned to do, do it with Coco Daisy Papers, but I wasn't able to. So I went ahead and went on Etsy. I searched um, holiday pink digital papers. <laughs> and I had this with me while I was doing my search so I can find something that complemented it really well. And I found two separate digital paper packs that I purchased. I'll be sure to link them below just in case you're interested in purchasing, purchasing them as well. And I went ahead and printed those off and was able to make myself a binder that I'm going to be using as my planner cover um, for my December setup. So again, using Coco Daisy Frost and Frolic. Um, I did dive into these rub-ons. I absolutely love them. I'll show you. I've only used one and I'll show you where I used it. Um, and then this is the rest of the um, Frost and Frolic kit from Coco Daisy. It is beautiful. I love these notepads. So these ones are sticky notes. And then these ones are just a regular notepad. So I'm going to be sure to incorporate this into my setup as well. And then there's these sticky notes. And then um, all kinds of other stuff. And like, for example, this is Studio Calico, some chipboard pink Christmas tree stickers. And then this is um, Felicity Jane, um, awesome um, chipboard numbers with gold accents. Now, the Coco Daisy accents are silver. So let me see, where's their pen? Because it's so pretty. Look at this pink and red um pen from coco daisy i think it's perfect for christmas i love it but it's silver i'm normally a rose gold or gold girl um but this is silver so i'm gonna try and make it work for me so i'm gonna bring you along um with me for that so let me um before i go into all the stuff that i bought from these three different companies i'm gonna show you what i started making i'm not finished um but what I started making is, oh, let me just show you in 2020, this is what I had made. So I wanted to make one similar. This is just a binder that I had made using um, printable papers, digital papers and laminating sheets. And I made this and um, put rings in it and everything. So with pockets and blah, 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 and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and link another video below that I had created where I made a folder like this it was for a micro happy planner but it's still the exact same technique you just tweak the dimensions for whatever you need and you can make them yourself granted that you have um, if you're making a larger binder you have to have a larger laminator and larger laminating sheets so but anyway so I wanted to do this again this similar thing this year but to match the Coco Daisy December kit so um, 
I did that and this is what I have so far and it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> I love it. So it says the Mendoza Holly Jolly Holiday 2022. And so this is the binder that I made with just some pink plaid with some red accents. So I absolutely love that. And then this, and again, I'll link everything below. This is an invitation graphic. Um, that I found on Etsy and I just um, instead of using it to create a holiday invitation for like a holiday party I went ahead and used the art because I wanted to use it here um, on my cover so that's another thing you can do as well and then this bottom art piece is from the Coco Daisy digitals that they send out to their subscribers so that's what that little piece is and then you open it up and um, again, it was just digital scrapbook paper that I purchased on Etsy. And then I have a side pocket here, a vertical one, and then a horizontal one here. This is where I used the rub-on, the one rub-on from the Coco Daisy kit. And it's just so cute. What I love about the rub-ons is when you laminate it, there's absolutely no bulk. You can't feel it, it's just amazing. So now what I need to do is I need to, oh, look at how cute this is gonna look in here, by the way. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. Um, so now I need to cut these pockets open. So I'm gonna do that on video with you. I need to also install my rings. So I wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna do discs because I'm normally a disc girl. If I do discs, I can easily make my planner um, and have it the back cover of the disc planner can just slide into this vertical pocket here and it'll be no problem but part of me wants to use rings it's just for one month I've done it before and it's not the end of the world um, because it's just for one month but I'm torn between using rose gold which will match pretty with the pink um, or using silver so that it'll match with this Coco Daisy pen um, of course, I'm going to lean towards the rose gold because I'm a pink person, a pastel person, and not a silver person, <laughs> but this might be better. But as you can see, the Felicity J numbers, they're gold accents, and so I am going to be mixing metals. Um, this is also gold. Oh, does this fit in here? No, it doesn't. But anyway, this is A5, I think. But... Um, I'm also... I'm going to mix a whole bunch of metals. It's going to have to be gold, silver, and... Um, I don't know if any rose gold is in this, in any of the stuff that I bought. I don't think so, but so it's probably going to be silver and gold. And I suppose I could mix in rose gold if I put these in here. So I don't know. Um, I think I should probably just go with the silver, um, just to play it safe and just to kind of step out of the comfort zone just a tad <laughs> because it's not going to be the end of the world so if i go with the silver which i'm leaning towards now because i'm talking it through with you guys then i'll go ahead and i'll use this um this silver um cording elastic cording Ooh, no i will not okay i just discovered something this is cheap elastic cording and look it's ruined it has no elasticity Wow. Okay, well, this whole roll is a waste. And even if it's just the top layer, I won't be able to use it because I already know that over time it's gonna disintegrate. Okay, so that's just too bad. <laughs> okay, in the trash that went, so what else am I gonna use then? Um, I'm gonna have to revisit my drawer my um all my elastic cording so give me a second all right i'm back and i have some more um options so let's see now some of these like this gold one i believe i bought at the same time as the silver one so let's see if this is ruined okay this is not this is good but it's gold and it's a very 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 it's very gold so this is a no then I have this pink now I'm worried about all of my elastics and this pink does not match so we're not going to use this but I also want to see if it's lost elasticity and it has not so that's good and then I have good old white nice and boring <laughs> and this one seems good as well 
And then I have another pink. This one's from Daiso. It's so pretty because it's glittery. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it also, um, it's not a horrible match, but it's also not a great one. Um, I have this, this one's a hotter pink. This is from the same Daiso one. Okay, so if it were going to be one, it would be this one. So it's going to be this or white. And I'm thinking, let's see what this looks like. I kind of don't like that it's going to be going through my artwork like that. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Um, so this will be the closure. Now what I can do is instead of the closure happening like this, my closure can potentially be like this instead. Um, hmm. Okay, I hadn't thought that out. Darn it. So, um, I'm thinking. Okay, I hadn't thought about that. I hadn't thought a bit about it going through my artwork. Unless I put it a little bit lower, because I can do that. Hmm. Okay, let's see the white. The white is um, not as thick as the pink, so maybe this will be less intrusive. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the white. Since we're doing the silver, we'll go ahead and go with the white we'll go with the original plan. Um, and the reason we're gonna go with the original plan is because I have this pocket here and I just, uh, sorry, I'm just thinking this out. Okay, well, let's see. I can put this here, that is for sure. And then I can actually Put something here and I'm thinking they go right the two holes go here and then the binding um, wraps around like this and goes like this do I want to do that I don't think so because I'm gonna want to miss this graphic and so it's barely gonna be on the lip here and it might just slip off you never know it may not really hold it well so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the middle all right work that out sorry about that so um, I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit of this. I'm going to do the wrap around this way. I'm also going to add two holes right here um, for a piece of elastic and that's going to hold my charm. I don't know what charm I'm going to use yet. Coco Daisy, um, it did come with a paper clip and here it is here and it's so, what, isn't this cute? Look. <laughs> I'm going to have to embrace the silver. But anyway, this is super cute, so I can use this in the planner. But then I also plan on putting a charm here. So I could either use this in the planner and then use this as a charm, kind of repurpose the dangles and the charms and make a charm out of it. Um, I don't know. We're going to see, but we are definitely going to put two holes here. So I'm going to kind of measure this and see how much elastic I'm going to need this so I would say about there and we're gonna cut it I'm gonna see if I can work fast because I don't want this to be a boring video for you guys so that's gonna be that it's gonna be um, tied in a knot right here just like this Just like that. And then let me see how this works. That's gonna be perfect. Okay, so I have to do a center hole right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure. Uh, let's see, let me grab a Sharpie marker so I can mark it. But it's basically gonna be 
Um, do I want to actually measure? I guess I do. Let me grab a ruler. Alrighty. So I have my ruler and this is going to go like this. And I believe this is seven and a half tall about. Okay, so we're gonna do 3.75. Is that right? Is the middle around here? Okay, and that looks about good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my hole here. Then I'm gonna put two holes up here um, for the charm. And I'm just eyeballing it. Okay. And I'll do um, let's see. Yeah, I'll do a hole right here and a hole right here. Just like that. Perfect. So we're gonna have a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. Now we're also gonna need holes for the ring mechanism. And so I should probably just go ahead and do that all at the same time. So let me go ahead and take this apart. And again, as I mentioned, I will link everything. It's coming off. Maybe not. Use whatever you have. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, there we go. Don't break a nail. All right. So now that we have that, we are going to use this to mark the holes. And I'm just going to go like this. And again, I am just going to eyeball it. Sorry if my head gets in the way. Okay. So we're going to go... One marked and one didn't. Okay, so here's one. My marker doesn't want to mark. Oh, it's dry. No wonder. Okay, so there's one here. Come on. And then there's going to be one. Here, I'm just going to center it. About there. Let me just make sure that these are the right distances apart. Measure twice, right? Okay, so it's about four and a quarter. Okay, perfect. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so then I'm going to take my. Um, Crocodile 2. This thing is amazing. If you don't have one, I suggest it because it just comes in handy for everything. So I'm going to use the um, 3 16th of an inch 
which is the bigger hole um, for um, the ones for the ring mechanism. So I'm just gonna bring this in and I can see my marking and I'm just gonna go for it. And it's a little bit crooked. But when this is all put together, it's not gonna be that obvious. Okay, so that's the bigger holes for the screws. Let me just make sure these posts will go through and they will, perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the smaller hole, which is the 1 8 of an inch for these little guys right here for my little elastic. And for my center one here. Okay, perfect. So now I have everything drilled in. You see how easy that is with that tool. It's just awesome. So we have um, our holes for our charm holder here. We have our closure elastic here, and then we have our ring mechanism here. So I'm gonna do um, the closure first because, um, because it's gonna go underneath the rings. So I'll go ahead and I'll do this. I've already tied a knot at the end, and then this will go in here, but not very easily, so let me grab a tool. This is just a, a little sharp, pokey thing, and so I use that sometimes, just to stick this in there. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna pull that through, just like that, and then, as you can see, we can now close the binder. And I'm just going to have to get over that it's going across my beautiful art. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's going to be on a shelf. It's not going to be a big deal. Okay. And then I'll want to trim this so that it fits nicely under my rings. Okay. And then we'll cut another little piece of elastic for our charm. And what I do is I cut um, this like this and I tie one end and I show you this in the other video where I make these covers for the micro. So I'm just gonna get a second look at that. But I do that and then I put it through one hole like that. That way one side is already done and then I put it through the next hole and then try my best to tie a close enough knot. <laughs> And I leave it, you know, I give myself some room here so I don't cut the cording too short because I need something to work with here. That's perfect. Perfect. And so now we have a loop here for our charm. And I've done that on um, other things, you know, that don't come with a, a charm loop. You can always put two holes, especially with that crocodile, um, and add a charm to any of your folios or planner covers that don't have one. But anyway, so that part's done, that was easy. And then we have um, this part. And so this plastic washer, I'm assuming it goes in between. Like I'm assuming this part goes in like this and then the washer and then the mechanism. So let's put that on both of these here like that. Okay, so I have the posts are pointing up and then I have um, the washer next and then I'll have the mechanism just like that. And then um, this will go in and I will need to grab a screwdriver because my ruler will not work for this part. <laughs> Hey, I might have one in my drawer right here. I'm gonna check. Or, hey, I just discovered this has a flat end on it, like a spatula end. So I'm gonna use that as my screwdriver. And it works. Perfect. Get that in there. I'm gonna get this one in there and then I'll tighten them. So how easy is that? 
once you know how to make these binders, I mean, just imagine the possibilities, especially if you get like the Planners Anonymous kit and it comes with kit papers. You can do this every month if you wanted to. All right. Now, it is bugging me that it kind of goes like this. <laughs> I wonder if it's really going to bother me because I can always make the hole a little bit bigger to scoot it over a bit. But I think when everything is in here, I think it's going to be okay. Let's see. Okay, so look at that. Okay, so now we have a ring binder with a closure. And as if this wasn't dried out enough, I left the cap off and it goes in the trash now. But anyway, so that is great. Um, I love it, it'll look super cute on a shelf. So now, um, we can figure out what goes in here. So you can see that little knot, it just kind of lays under there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. So, and I don't think it could go down anymore, this mechanism. I think that's just how it'll be. And just make sure. All right, so we're doing rings this month. <laughs> All right, so that is good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my slits for my pockets. So I'm just gonna grab a craft blade. This one is the Cricut one and my ruler. And I just very, very, very lightly open this up and you'll see what I mean. You just wanna go lightly. Um, now this is a thick laminate, it's 10 mil. Um, but I want to go lightly so I don't accidentally cut um, into the back. Even if I scrape the paper, it'll show. So let's see if we're able to get this open at all. Or if I need to go deeper, I don't want... Oh, there we go. I just kind of bent it back a little bit and it broke open. And then I just go like this to break the rest open. Perfect. And there we have our pocket. I'm going to do the same here again, very, very light pressure so that I don't cut to the other side. Okay. All right. Cover this. I'm gonna go like this so I can see if I can break that open. Okay, hurts something. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so don't press too much. And even if you notice that it didn't cut all the way through, try to bend it, try to get something in there. Um, because you don't want to cut into that um, piece of paper because you I've made that mistake before and then you got to redo everything Perfect. I got a pocket here. I may even be able to put this pad in here Okay, and so on and so forth. Actually, I might put the pad here So if I want to put the pad, um, I'm sorry, I'm not even frame if I want to put the pad here on this side then what I would do is I would um cut into here so maybe you know I would put it maybe down here I don't think I would put it up here because then it would feel too short but I would put it here um, so I would cut a slit right here and what I would do is I put I tuck something into this pocket like maybe some chipboard or something so I don't cut into the back of my folder so I would insert something in there mark it and then cut it open so that it can have room for this backing to slide in here and I think that'll look really 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 cute so I'm almost positive that's what I'm gonna do another trick that I wanted to share with you is whenever I get notepads like this um, I don't want them to break off so I take clear packing tape and I open that open it up to the um, 
chipboard backing and the for, and the last page and I put clear packing tape right here and that'll prevent that from breaking off so you don't have to be super gentle with your notepads because this tends to want to come off because it's just so heavy so um, I do that with all of my notepads As a matter of fact I think I have one here um, from 2020 yes okay sorry about that my phone um, uh, ran out of storage space really weird got to figure that out but anyway um, I went ahead and I was explaining how I put packing tape um, right here in order to make sure that this lasts long and I went ahead and I cut the slit right here I used a piece of packing material that I had in my trash can I stuck it in here and I used my ruler and exacto knife to make a slit here for this notepad um, you want to make sure you put something in here so that you don't cut into your backing because you got to press really hard to get that cut all the way through and so now this cute little notepad should fit right in here okay just like that just try to move it so it's straight <laughs> let's see there we go perfect oh I think that looks so nice look at that it looks so nice right there. It's going to look really great once all the planner stuff is in here. Um, so that looks really, really cute. And then I could even take like um, these die cut trees. I could have put a, I could have put a couple trees there. I could put something, you know, thicker up here because we have um, a little bit of um, height that we can use here or depth. Um, so let's see. I know there's other chipboard stickers. Let me find them. Okay. Where are, oh, look at this insert. How cute it's going to look. So this is the B6 insert from Coco Daisy, and it's unpunched. I get them all unpunched because I use um, discs, but this time we're going to use rings, which comes in handy. But look at how cute this is going to look. Isn't that going to be great? Um, I love the way all of this ties in with this. I didn't realize um, it was going to work out so nicely. So there's the insert. But we were looking for something else. Oh, things like this are just going to be so cute in here, you know, once I build this whole thing. Um, let's see. I'm looking for... I mean, I just have all kinds of stuff in here. But I'm looking for the chipboard. Where are they? Here they are. I'm looking for these. Um, how cute this December stories would look. Um, so let's see. So again, these came in the um, Frost and Frolic um, kit. December stories would look really cute there, but that is kind of a lot of pink. But this blue might look a good December moments captured. Um, let's see. All dressed up for the cold might look good. Hmm. So many options. This green would look cute because it's just kind of small. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm completely undecided. Oh, this December might look good. Let's see. Because it's red. Yeah, that might look cute. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, it's a little off to the right, so we're going to pick it up.
Yeah, I like that. I think that's cute. Just says December. How cute is that? Make sure that is stuck down good. And I still have full use of this pocket here. So it'll be great for like um, sticker sheets, um, quote cards, a stamp set if I wanted to keep the stamp set in here. Um, it'll be good for anything really. But once I start building this, it'll kind of all come together. But how cute, you know, this could even go here, that, and then where are those other sticky notes, the, the snowflake one? This one, you know, could even go here. And what I would use is I probably would use a um, some glue dots um, to put that here, just like this, so I can pick one up and use it if I wanted to. Um, I think I should go ahead and do that because I think that'll look really cute there. So let me grab the glue dots. Actually, they're, um, they're by glue dot, but they're lines. Um, nice, heavy adhesive. So we're gonna use this as soon as I find the end. And then we'll go ahead and end there. I'll go ahead and put this all together and then do another video for you um, of a walkthrough of it pretty much complete. Of course, I always end up adding other things to my, to my planner. <laughs> but, so I like these because they just kind of cut off. And then it has um, a glue dot, but it's a, it's a, um, a strip, which I really like. Okay, put that there, peel that off. And now we'll have this here. Perfect, see, and it'll just hold on really, really well because of that those glue dots are really good. It's not just like, adhesive and it won't ruin this if I wanted to take this off um, I can so this is perfect see just comes right off and I can use it in my planner so that's perfect there so I think that's good um, I will find a charm to put on here and um, go ahead and look forward to that walkthrough I'll have it up soon because now I'm excited now that this folder is done and created I can go ahead and start um, filling it in but look at how cute it looks already I'm gonna have to get used to these silver rings <laughs> but I think I'll I think I'll survive I think I'll be just fine all right you guys well thanks so much for joining and we will talk to you really soon bye-bye